Is there additional discussion? Representative Onishi? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Um, in support with reservations. Um, as the House Tourism Chair, um, I have some concerns in our taxing uh, our largest economic driver, tourism, and not being able to provide uh, the industry with some support to help mitigate some of the consequences of our tourism industry. I think we've heard a lot about that uh, from different communities throughout the state, and I was hoping that we would have been able to help provide some funding to um, assist the tourism industry with trying to mitigate some of those concerns. Thank you. Thank you. Members, uh, Representative Evans? Yeah, Mr. Speaker, uh, with reservations. Representative McKelvey. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, reservations, please. And Sorry. would just like to add the comments of the tourism chair, except for the tourism chair part in the journal. Thanks. So ordered. <laughs> Representative San Buenaventura. With reservations. So ordered. Um, speaker, I voted no in 2015 because I felt that GE tax was very regressive. I voted yes in the 2017 regular session um, with a similar bill like this because I felt that this was a step towards tax equity. The GE is very regressive. The GE taxes everything. The Oahu GE tax affects the neighbor island poor. I think in one calculation I made, you know, just on, on a regular $150 grocery bill that goes through Oahu, we're talking about $13 in Oahu GE tax that the poor in Puna would need. That's four gallons of gas. If you've ever lived in Puna, you see people with gas tanks asking for gas money because it takes a gallon of gas to just go to Hilo. That's four gallons of gas that the poor in Puna could save when we move this taxation from GE, whether, whether, uh, even if it's an Oahu GE, to a tourist tax. Now let, let's make sure, I mean the county believes for some reason that the TAT is their money. It's not their money. 1986, it's the state money. It's a tax on tourists. It's a, the more expensive your hotel room, the more you pay. That's tax equity. The more you can afford, the people who can afford a hotel room pay. The more expensive the hotel room, the more you pay. The poor, on the other hand, who cannot afford a hotel room have no choice but to pay the Oahu GE tax. And that's the reason I am for this bill. But with reservations, because I agree with the prior speakers, we haven't looked at alternatives, nor an informational hearing. And for the end, I really disagree with this whole rail boondoggle, but a half-built rail helps no one. Thank you. Thank you. Is there additional discussion?